What is up, Brad family? Today I have a brand new original creepypasta for you, but it's not like a typical original creepypasta reading. Instead, it has a little bit of a twist to it because I want to turn this into a series if you all enjoy it. This series is YouTubers in Creepypastas. Or Yik, I guess. That sounds kind of weird. So for each one of these videos, down in the comments below, I want you to leave me suggestions of which YouTuber you want to see be turned into a main character of a creepypasta. So for this video, the very first episode, I'm using my friend and YouTuber, Kasich in Virtual Reality, to be the main leading character and to have a story to focus on him. I hope you guys like this video, so let's get to it. After years of reading updates and anxiously waiting for the release date, Kasich finally got his hands on a VR headset. Ripping it from its box, he wasted no time setting it up and slipping it over his head. Instantly blown away by the immersive feeling, he began looking for any and all games to play. As he completed one, he moved on to the next, each day increasing the amount of time spent in virtual reality. It didn't take long for it to consume his entire day. Real life just couldn't compare to the fantasy worlds created in front of his eyes. He was able to brush off any criticism or jabs Shaddy gave him for being glued to his VR headset. But when he woke up with it still latched onto his face, not even remembering when he fell asleep or even what game he last played, he realized he had become too attached. Knowing fresh air and a walk would do his mind some good, he made the decision to take a day away from the virtual world and enjoy real life. The decision to go for a walk was instantly rewarding as with each step, he felt more invigorated. In the midst of thinking he should enjoy more time outdoors, Hasek got this sudden feeling he was being watched. Glancing over his shoulder, he spots a young girl staring in his direction. Perplexed by her gaze, he waves. When the girl doesn't flinch a muscle or divert her eyes, he continues his walk feeling odd as he does so. Seeing a park up ahead, he picks a shady spot under a tree to lay. As soon as his eyes close shut, he gets the sensation that someone is standing over him. He snaps his eyelids back to find no one hovering above. Unsettled, he sits up to find the little girl standing off in the distance, but closer than last time. Seeing her face a bit clearer, he gets a hunch deep within his gut that he may know her after all. No longer able to shake the creepy vibes and relax, he decides to head home. On his way, he keeps trying to think of where he could have possibly saw her before. So lost in his thoughts, Hasek trips and scrapes his knee on the rough cemented sidewalk. His gut reaction has him clutching his knee to combat the sting with pressure, but the pain never came. Looking down at the blood dripping along his shin, he knows that wound should be throbbing. Confused, he presses his finger into the torn skin to try to spark a twinge of pain. He is snapped out of his focus by the sudden lack of noise. No kids playing in the street, the neighbor's dog wasn't barking, not even a faint rustling of leaves stirred by the summer breeze could be detected. Freaked out by the eerie atmosphere, Kasich books it to his front door, reaching the unlocked knob just as the feeling of someone's gaze on his back returns. Bursting through the door, he races to the window to see the girl now standing in his front yard, matching his stare. He calls out for Shaddy, but doesn't get a reply. Dialing his mother's phone number, the ring goes straight to voicemail. As he's pacing his room in a state of panic, he notices his VR headset isn't on his computer desk where he left it before the walk. He re-enters the living room and the shocking sight knocks the wind out of him. Standing in the center of the room was the young girl, now holding the VR headset. She lifts it up towards him and gives him a sweet smile. Though he knows he should be screaming at her to leave or to run in the opposite direction, his lips won't move and his arm reaches for the VR headset, disregarding his internal protests. Just as his fingers wrap around it, the once innocent looking girl's face twists into something truly sinister. Her eyes grew dark and sunk into her skull and her lips pulled back 
even further into a snarling grin. His surroundings changed too. The serene daylight transformed into the dead of night, and his house morphed into one appearing to have been abandoned long ago. During the change of atmosphere is when he was able to pinpoint where he recognized the young girl, the game he had forgotten he played before falling asleep. And this now decrepit world came from there too. Seeing the realization on his face, the monstrous girl let out a squeaky laugh that made his bones rattle under his skin. He couldn't remember falling asleep because he never awoke. He was still in the game and even though he drifted away due to exhaustion, the rules of the game remained in place. Once you start the VR experience, you can't escape until you finish. And judging by the girl's horrifyingly cheerful manner, he has just begun. I hope the very first yik, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, I'm testing it out. But I hope this very first YouTubers in Creepypastas was able to scare you and maybe just maybe cause a few nightmares. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know you liked it and I can make more of these yicks, maybe? So sound out below, tell me if you guys like it, tell me who you want to see in the future, and if you're not yet part of this community, well, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and join today because we got a lot of nightmares coming this summer. Just a heads up. Okay, so I'll see you guys real soon, and until then, keep up the radness. Bye!